نحمد ہُ و نسلی علیہ رسول الکریم ٹوڈے وی شیل بی بگننگ ود دی بگننگ آف دی ففت سیکشن آف سورت بنی اسرائیل اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ولقد صرفنا فی هذا القرآن لیذکرو وما یزیدہم الا نفورا صدق اللہ العظیم And we have explained our ayat in the Qur'an in various ways, in various styles, in various sequences, so that they get admonition. But they are not getting anything else but aversion. They are running away. قُلْ لَوْ كَانَ مَعَهُ آلِهَةٌ كَمَا يَقُولُونَ Say to them, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if there had been other gods along with God, Allah, kama yaqulun as they say, اِذَا لَبْتَغَوْا إِلَىٰ ذِي لَرْشَ سَبِيلَ Then they would have tried to find some way to the highest throne. You know, if there is a king and under the kings there are subordinate chieftains. Now we know it's a rule that some of the chieftain tries to become the king why shouldn't he occupy the throne so has there had there been other gods alongside allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there would have been chaos in the universe and someone might have rebelled and you know stood in revolt against allah subhanahu wa ta'ala subhanahu glory is his وَتَعَالَىٰ عَمَّا يَقُولُونَ عُلُوٌ كَبِيرًا And he is much, much exalted, high up than those things which they are saying. تُسَبِّحُ لَهُ السَّمَوَاتُ السَّمَعُ All these seven heavens keep on glorifying him. وَالْعَرْضِ As well as the earth. وَمَنْ فِيهِنَّا And all those things and beings which are in the heavens and the earth. At every time, always, they are glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَإِمْ مِنْ شَيْنِ اللَّا يُسَبِّحُ بِحَمْدِهِ There is nothing in the whole of the universe which is not glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with His praise. وَلَكِنْ لَا تَفْقَهُونَ تَسْبِيحَهُمْ But you cannot understand their glorification. How they are glorifying, how they are praising Allah. You can't understand. إِنَّهُ كَانَ حَلِيمًا غَفُورًا Verily, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is forbearing. He doesn't take hasty decisions. He gives time to people to amend their ways, to mend their ways. And He is forgiving. وَإِذَا قَرَاتَ الْقُرْآنَ جَعَلْنَا بَيْنَكَ وَبَيْنَ الَّذِينَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْآخِرَةِ حِجَابًا مَسْتُورًا And when you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, recite Qur'an unto them, we put between you and them a hidden curtain between you and those who don't believe in the hereafter. In this surah we have seen repeatedly, this idea comes up that the main thing, basic thing is the belief in the hereafter. In the first section also, There was this Qur'an, إِنَّ هَذَا الْقُرْآنَ يَهْدِي لِلَّتِهِ أَقْوَمْ وَيُبَشِّرُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ الَّذِينَ يَعْمَلُونَ الصَّالِحَاتِ أَنَّ لَهُمْ عَجْرٌ كَبِيرًا وَأَنَّ الَّذِينَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْآخِرَةِ أَعْتَدْنَا لَهُمْ عَزَابًا أَلِيمًا The most basic thing is to believe in the resurrection and to believe in the life of hereafter. So those who don't believe, when you recite Qur'an unto them, we put a curtain, invisible, hidden curtain, between you and them. وَجَعَلْنَا عَلَىٰ قُلُوبِهِمْ أَكِنَّةً In addition, we put wheels on their hearts, اَنْ يَفْقَفُوهُ which prevents them from understanding what you are reciting to them. وَفِي عَزَانِهِمْ وَقْرَىٰ In addition, in their ears is heaviness. وَإِذَا ذَكَرْتَ رَبَّكَ فِي الْقُرْآنِ وَحْدَهُ And when you mention your Lord in Qur'an that He is alone, without any partners, وَاللَّهُ عَلَىٰ أَدْبَارِهِمْ نُفُورًا They turn their backs and go away with aversion, with displeasure. 
نحن عالم بما يستمعون به يستمعون الیک وی ویری ویل نو واٹ دے وانٹ ٹو لسن فرام یو وین دے کم اینڈ سیٹ نیئر یو او محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اینڈ اپیرنٹلی دے لسن ٹو یو اٹینٹیولی وائی از ہوم نجوا دس دے ڈیڈ ایکچولی اونلی ٹو امپریس اپون دیئر کامن پیپل دیئر ماسیز دیٹ وی آر سنسیئر وی وانٹ ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ وٹ محمد ہیز ٹو سے ایکچولی ہی ہیز نتھنگ ٹو سے ہی ہیز نو لاجک ان وٹ ہی از سینگ سو ٹو امپریس دس اپون دی کامن پیپل سو دے ڈونٹ گو نیئر محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اینڈ ڈونٹ ہیئر ٹو وٹ ہی از سینگ وائی از ہوم نجوا اینڈ وین دے آر الون in privacy is yaqul zalimun when these evil doers say to each other in tattabi'una illa rajul al-mashura you are following only a person who is bewitched magic has overcome him overcome muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he is a bewitched person so don't follow him maybe someone you know might have said okay what muhammad said today it appeals to me So then they would say, oh, no, no, what has happened to you? He is a bewitched person. Magic has over, overcome over him. So don't follow him. Unzur kaifa darabu lakal amsal. See, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what type of similitudes they strike for you. Fala yastati'una sabila. They will not be able to get to the right path. Wa qalu wa iza kunna izabu wa rufata. And they say, When a time will come after our death, that will become only bones and fragments. Are we going to be raised again in a new creation? This resurrection? How is it possible? <coughs> we'll, uh, tell them, O oh, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Kunu hijaratan. You say you will become dust, fragments. You become stones. او حدیدا او آئرن او خلقم مما یکبر و فی صدور کم اور اینی تھنگ وچ یو تھنک از ہارڈر دین دی اسٹون اینڈ دی اسٹیل اینڈ آئرن آلسو فس یقولون مئی یو عید نا دین دے ول سی ٹو یو ہو ول برنگ اس بیک فرام اور ڈیڈ باڈیز فرام اور گریوس قول لذی فتح کم اول مرا سے دی سیم Who created you for the first time? <coughs> Allah created you out of nothing, out of dust or clay, or out of, you know, a drop of sperm. He created you. So whosoever could create you from that, can't he again recreate you? So is it just, it is logical that he can do it. قُلِ اللَّذِي فَتَرَكُمْ أَوَّلَ مَرَّةً فَسَيُّ الْغِزُونَ إِلَيْكَ رُؤُسَهُمْ And then they will shake their heads before you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And finally the question they will put is, وَيَقُولُونَ مَتَاهُ Okay, then when will it happen? قُلْ عَسَى أَنْ يَكُونَ قَرِيبَ Say, maybe that it has come very near. But this knowledge of the time, of the hour, I don't have. It is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When that عَسَى The promised hour will come. When there will be resurrection, I don't know. What I know is that it will happen. That Asara will come. That you will be resurrected. And this is the message that I have to convey to you. Yawma yadrukum fatastajibuna bihamdihi. When your Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, will call you, you will respond, praising Him, running towards Him. وَتَذُنُّونَ إِنْ لَبِسْتُمْ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا And you will feel at that time that you didn't live in the world or in the graves. But for a very short time. A very short time passed. Just as we can feel, you know. Now if I am 68, I can remember some, you know, incidents when I was five years of age. And it seems it was yesterday. The whole time which has passed appears to be zero. In the same way, they will feel on that day of judgment. That they didn't remain in the earth, in this world, or in the graves, but for a very little while.